today at the Queenston Quarry. I am going to have a look at the mines that were here. Not only was this a quarry for limestone, but it was also mined out of the ground. And the mines are still here, but they're probably flooded. But I'm going to go ahead and have a look. We have the mines. So before I go in there, what I'm going to do is I have a flashlight with me. And I'm going to get that out and get ready. And then we'll venture in a little bit. Generally, these are flooded from what I've seen. And there's coyotes around, so I'm going to be careful. That's pretty wet. And I imagine pretty dangerous. Because you look at that rock there. If that comes down, like you know these other ones have, and then I'm in trouble. On the face of the Niagara Escarpment, Isaac Usher and his son established a cement factory in 1885. The Ushers mined a layer of cement rock, burned it in kilns, ground it into powder, and barreled it. It's pretty nerve-wracking being in here, I'll say. Tunnels extending in from the face of the escarpment were used to mine the cement rock. Because only one layer of sedimentary rock was utilized, tunnels were used instead of open pits. The overburden was too thick to remove in a cost-effective manner. Okay. Okay, so here on this wall, uh, we can see painting that looks like stars with a hand in it. And uh, my understanding from what I've read and watched is that that could be from the 1950s, because people have been coming in here a long time, even after the mine was closed. So, don't know how old that is or when that was placed there. So you can see the handprint. And it looks like stars. And there you can see a very big cave in, which makes me nervous. So these holes here, my understanding is that that is caused by water dripping off the ceiling and then drilling holes into the ground. And the ground is covered with those. Four tunnels were driven into the escarpment, eventually totaling a length of between six and seven miles. No map or plan of these tunnels was ever made. Large pillars of rock were left on mine to support the roof and prevent cave-ins. Water was regularly present on the floor, which meant that it had to be removed using steam-powered pumps. Most of the tunnels were destroyed in later years after the cement operation ceased. There looks like a beam. So that is the caves, or the mines I should say, and uh, they go in pretty deep, I didn't want to go in too far, uh, there's a lot of no different noises in there that make you nervous, and of course you're always nervous about the rock falling on top of you, so since I'm not an experienced caver by any means, I did not want to go too far in there. But I went a little bit, and I mean, as far as I could shine my light, there was Okay, it just kept going on and on and on. I keep saying cave, but it's mine. The mine keeps going on and on and on.